Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Skyrim. My name's Camel. In this video, I'm going to be running you through all of Skyrim's unique light armor. Now, just to clarify so you do not get confused. Unique means non-craftable armor. Armor that is literally unique. Armor that is only found during specific quests or in one specific location. Armor that is not radiant and has a limited number within the game. For example, fur armor is not unique. Whereas skull armor, even though there are multiples, there's an extremely limited number. So if you have an issue with that definition of unique, please take it up with the Skyrim wiki for I am using their definition of unique armor within Skyrim. So first up we're going to do the Skyrim unique light armor sets and first up we have the Ancient Falma set. The Ancient Falma boots here. These have a base armor rating of 11 and no enchantment to speak of. Next we have the Ancient Falma chorus, the chest piece. This has a base armor of 38. Next we have the Ancient Falma gauntlets. These have a base armor rating of 11. Now there is a Ancient Falma crown which is not accessible via normal gameplay. The only way to access this is via console commands. There are people out there claiming to have acquired this without using console commands. These people are full of shit. Next we have the Ancient Shrouded set. This is the chest piece, the Ancient Shrouded armor. This has a base armor rating of 33. The enchantment there increases poison resistance by 100%. That is an extremely powerful enchantment if you're facing poison. Next we have the Ancient Shrouded Boots. This has a base armor of 12. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Very useful for those of you who sneak around. Next we have the Ancient Shrouded Cowl. Now this has a base armor rating of 15. Bows do 35% more damage. Very useful for those of you who use a bow. Next we have the Ancient Shrouded Gloves. Now this has a a base armor rating of 12. Double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. If you combine these gloves and their enchantment with certain perks in the one-handed tree, you can basically one-shot people with your daggers. For the next set, we have the set of the old gods. Up we have armor of the old gods. This has a base armor rating of 24. Destruction spells cost 15% less to cast. Very useful. Next in the set, we have boots of the old gods. This has a base armor rating of 7. Sneaking is 20% better. Next in the set, we have gauntlets of the old gods, the hands, the gloves. This has a base armor rating of 7. Bows do 20% more damage. And lastly in the set, we have the helmet of the old gods. This has a base armor rating of 12. Increases your magicka by 30 points. That's a very powerful magicka enchantment. For the next set, we have the Black Guard's armor. This has a base armor rating of 33. Carrying capacity is increased by 50 points. That, in my opinion, is a very useful and powerful carrying capacity enchantment. As carrying capacity and more bag room is definitely one of the most vital things within Skyrim, in my opinion. Next, we have the Black Guard boots. These have a base armor rating of 13. Pickpocket success is 40% better. Next in the set we have Black Guard's gloves. These have a base armor rating of 8. Lock picking is 40% easier. Very useful for lock picking. Lastly in the set we have the Black Guard's hood. This has a base armor rating of 18. Prices are 25% better. Quite useful when buying and selling items to merchants. For the next set we have the Deathbrand set. Here we have the Deathbrand armor. This has a base armor rating of 39 increases your stamina by 15 for each Deathbrand item you wear. So when wearing all four pieces of the Deathbrand armor set, you will have an increased stamina of 60. Next we have the Death Brand Boots. These have a base armor rating of 11.5. Increases your carrying capacity by 10 for each Death Brand item you wear. If you're wearing all four pieces, you will have a increased carrying capacity of 40. Next we have the Death Brand Gauntlets. These have a base armor rating of 11.5. While dual wielding, your one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each Death Brand item you wear. So again, when wearing all all four pieces, you will have an increased one-handed dual-wielding attack bonus increase of 40% damage. And lastly for the set, we have the Death Brand Helm. This has a base armor rating of 16.5. Water breathing, plus 100 armor while wearing a complete set of Death Brand armor. Extremely powerful, every piece of the set benefits from other pieces of the set. So in my opinion, you should definitely wear the full set. Heavy armor or light armor, the Death Brand set is definitely one of the most powerful 
powerful armor sets in Skyrim. Next, we have the Guild Master set. Here we have the Guild Master's armor. This has a base armor rating of 38. Carrying capacity is increased by 50 points. A very powerful carrying capacity enchantment. Next, we have the Guild Master's boots. This has a base armor rating of 11. Pickpocket success chance is 35% better. Next, we have the Guild Master's gloves. This has a base armor rating of 11. Lock picking is 35% better. Next, we have the Guild Master's Hood. This has a base armor rating of 16. Prices are 20% better. For the next set, we have Linwe's sets. And here we have Linwe's armor. This has a base armor rating of 31. Increases your stamina by 15 points. Next in the set, we have Linwe's boots. These have a base armor rating of 11. Sneaking is 15% better. Next, we have Linwe's gloves. These have a base armor rating of 11. One-handed attack do 15% more damage. And lastly for Lin Wee's set, we have Lin Wee's Hood. This has a base armor rating of 16. Bows do 15% more damage. Next we have Mirak. Very nice. If you acquire this mask between the levels of 1 and 44, it will have a base armor rating of 23 and a enchantment that gives you an extra 50 points of magicka. If you acquire this item between the levels of 45 and 59, it will have a base armor rating of 25 and an enchantment that gives you an extra 60 magicka points. Or in my case, if you acquire this item between or in my case, if you acquire this item at the level of 60 or higher, it will have a base armor rating of 27 and give you an extra 70 magicka points. Now this headpiece comes in both heavy and light armor. Obviously in this case we're covering the light armor version of the headpiece. So like I said just before, this has a base armor rating of 27 in my case and the enchantment increases your magicka by 70 points. Very powerful headpiece. I think it has the highest armor rating of any headpiece in the game, especially for light armor and that is a very powerful magicka enchantment as well. Next in the set we have Medax boots. These have a a base armor rating of 11. Adds 5% to the dragon breath and spell absorption of Midax robes. Obviously work very well when wearing the robes. Lastly slash not really lastly in the Midax set we have Midax gloves. These have a base armor rating of 7. Adds 5% to the dragon breath and spell absorption of Midax robes. Now Midax robes are in fact a clothing item. They look like this. You can click on the link right here where I cover Midax robes in my Skyrim unique clothing video. For the next set, we have the Nightingale set, one of my favorites, and here we have the Nightingale armor. This has a base armor rating of 34. Increases your stamina by 40 points. Increases frost resistance by 50 points. That is a very powerful stamina enchantment and a very handy frost enchantment to have. Next in the set, we have the Nightingale boots. These have a base armor rating of 10. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Very useful for those of you who wish to sneak around. Next in the set, we have the Nightingale Gloves. These have a base armor rating of 10. Lock picking is 15% easier. One-handed attacks do 15% more damage. That's quite useful because usually it's one or the other, but to have both is very handy, pun intended. Next we have the Nightingale Hood. This has a base armor rating of 15. Illusion spells cost 12% less to cast. Quite useful when using illusion spells. For the next light armor set we have the Penitus Oculatus set and here we have the Penitus Oculatus armor. This has a base armor rating of 25 and no enchantment. Next we have the Penitus Oculatus boots. These have a base armor rating of 7. Next we have the Penitus Oculatus braces and these have a base armor rating of 7. And lastly, for the Penitus Oculatus set, we have the Penitus Oculatus Helmet. This has a base armor rating of 12. I do like this set, it's a very unique looking set. For the next set, we have the Shrouded set, and here we have the Shrouded armor. This has a base armor rating of 29, increases poison resistance by 50%. Very useful if you are coming up against poison. Next in the set, we have the Shrouded boots. These have a base armor rating of 8. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Very useful for those of you who like to sneak. Next, we have the Shrouded gloves. These have a base armor rating of 8. Backstab does double damage. Uh, incredibly useful if you're sneaking around and using daggers and you want to backstab. Huge damage you can pull from these gloves. Lastly for the set, slash not lastly for the set, we have the Shrouded Cowl. This has a base armor rating of 13. Bows do 20% more damage. Interestingly, this set has a variation of the headpiece, the cowl. Here we have a Shrouded Cowl Maskless. Exactly the same thing, uh, just when you equip it, it doesn't have the mask across the face, just the hood. 
Just for good faith, gonna run through it. This has a base armor rating of 13 and bows do 20% more damage. Next, we have the Skull set. And first up, we have the Skull boots. These have a base armor rating of seven. Next, we have the Skull coat. This has a base armor rating of 26 and no enchantment to speak of along with the rest of the set. Next, we have the Skull gloves. These have a base armor rating of seven. Next, we have the Skull hat. This has a base armor rating of six and is possibly one of the ugliest headpieces in all of Skyrim. Someone get some Pantene onto that. Jesus. And for the next light armor set, we have the Thieves Guild set. Here we have the Thieves Guild armor, the chest piece. This has a base armor rating of 33, carrying capacity increased by 20 points. Very useful. Next, we have the Thieves Guild boots. These have a base armor rating of 10. Pickpocket success chance is 25% better. Wow, I've never seen that enchantment before. Next in the set, we have the Thieves Guild gloves. This has a base armor rating of 10. Lock picking is 15% easier. And for Skyrim's last unique light armor set, we have the Worn Shrouded set. And here we have the Worn Shrouded armor. This has a base armor rating of 20. Next, we have the Worn Shrouded Boots. These have a base armor rating of 3. Next, we have the Worn Shrouded Gloves. This has a base armor rating of 4, and Backstab does double damage. The only enchanted piece in the set, and a very useful enchantment at that. Lastly for the set, we have the Worn Shrouded Cowl. This has a base armor rating of 8, and no enchantment to speak of. And that concludes our Skyrim Unique Light Armor Sets. Now we're moving on to something a little bit special, the Skyrim Unique Standalone Light Armor Necklaces. Yes, necklaces. There are only two of these in the game, and I'm not sure if they're meant to be, but they are considered light armor. They have also been covered in both this video, the light armor video, and the Skyrim Unique Jewelry videos, just to cover my ass. So first up, we have the Amulet of Articulation. This has a base armor rating of 8. Persuade checks in dialogue will almost always succeed, and speechcraft is 35% better. A very powerful necklace when talking to people. And could also be considered one of the most powerful necklaces in the game due to the fact that it gives armor. Second, and lastly, we have the Locket of Saint Giob. This has a base armor rating of 5. Carrying capacity is increased by 50 points. Increases your stamina by 50 points. In my opinion, this is better than the Amulet of Articulation, purely because of the enchantment, even though it gives a little bit less armor rating. I said it just there. It's only a little bit less, and I find the enchantment much more powerful. Next we have the Skyrim standalone unique light armor chest pieces. And first up we have the Dawnguard armor. Now this has a base armor rating of 29. No enchantment to speak of. Now you're probably thinking that this isn't a unique piece, but there is one Dawnguard armor chest piece that is red that is sold by one specific merchant that is sleeveless. All of the other Dawnguard chest pieces have sleeves, even the other red ones. If you're very lucky, you can find this being sold by one specific merchant. Although the name may not be different and the appearance in the inventory may not be different, it is in fact a unique piece with a unique skin. Next we have the Savior's Hide. This has a base armor rating of 26. Increases magic resistance by 15. Increases poison resistance by 50%. This is very useful when coming up against magic and poison, but in my opinion there are chest pieces with a better armor and better enchantments. Which is sad to see a Daedric artifact outdone by other pieces that aren't particularly special. And lastly we have the Vampire Royal Armor. There's only a couple of these in game and I do believe you have to kill some very important people to get one of these. So, Vampire Royal Armor, the chess piece. This has a base armor rating of 30. Magicka regenerates 125% faster. That is an incredibly powerful Magicka regeneration enchantment and a very cool and unique looking chess piece. Next batter up we have the Skyrim Unique Standalone Light Armor Boots. And first up we have Morvath's Boots. These have a base armor rating of 5. Enchantment sneaking is 15% better. Next we have Predator's Grace. These have a base armor rating also of 5. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Stamina regenerates 1% faster. That's shit. Next in line, we have the Skyrim standalone unique gloves, braces, gauntlets, arm guards. The things that go on your hands. 
And first up we have the Fine Arm Guards. These have a base armor rating of 7, and no enchantment to speak of. Next we have the Gilded Wrist Guards, which strangely enough right now are showing up as Nightingale Gloves, when in fact they look like this. Apologies, I can't spin a picture around, but that's what they look like. And they have a base armor rating of 7, and no enchantment to speak of. Apart from their coding enchantment, which is more of a curse. Next up, we have the Gloves of the Pugilist. These have a base armor rating of 5. Unarmed strikes do 10 additional damage. Very useful if you're using hand-to-hand. -hand. Next, we have the Tumbler Bane Gloves. These have a base armor rating of 7. Lock picking is 20% easier. Very cool gloves. And lastly, we have Ulfrix Braces. These have a base armor rating of 5 and no enchantment to speak of. Next we have a very special item within Skyrim, the Diadem of the Savants. Hmm, must be mine. Now this is in fact a circlet which is classed as a piece of clothing, but as you can see there it is classed as light armor and has a base armor rating of 7. Spells in all schools cost less magicka to cast. Very useful enchantment as well. Now some other interesting things about the Diadem of the Savants. When selling it to a merchant, it is not considered clothing, it is considered light armor. Interestingly though, it does take effect of all armor perks. In the heavy armor tree, it works with the well-fitted perk. In the light armor tree, it works with the custom fit perk. And it also works with the mage armor perk. So it's a very interesting little piece here. This is a bit of a mission to get, but there are in fact two in the game, and the second one was a mistake and just found sitting on a log outside Froki's shack, in case you're wondering. Let's go back to the normal light armor, shall we? And lastly, we have the Skyrim standalone unique light armor headpieces. I would just like to apologize, I have a mod that changes the skin of the masks here. It just makes them look nicer, it doesn't affect the stats at all. And first up, we have Krosus. This has a base armor rating of 21. Lock picking, archery, and alchemy are 20% better. This is a very, very powerful headpiece, and I do use it a lot when I first start on my little sneaky sneak characters. Next, we have Moroki. This has a base armor rating of 5. It's very low for a Dragon Priest mask. Magicka regenerates 100% faster. That's a very powerful Magicka regeneration enchantment. Next, we have Noster's Helmet. This has a base armor rating of 12 and looks very similar to the Imperial Light Armor Helmets. And it has no enchantment to speak of. Next, we have Volsung. This has a base armor rating of 21. Prices are 20% better, carry 20 points more, and can breathe underwater. This is a very useful mask to have just for the breathing underwater enchantment. The carrying 20 points more is again very useful, and prices are 20% better. Even if you don't wear this mask, most of the time I think it's very useful to keep in your inventory just for these specific situations and lastly, and very disappointingly, we have the Wooden Mask. This has a base armor rating of 2. The Wooden Mask comes with an unfamiliar energy. This is very useless for a player to wear, but it is vital in gaining the Heavy Armor Mask, Konorik. So in that sense, it's useful. And that concludes our Skyrim Unique Light Armors. If you are interested and curious about other Skyrim unique items and spells, feel free to click one of the links on screen. If that's way too intense for you, the links are also in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to share this video amongst your family and friends. If you think I left any items out, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know which items you use, why you think they're good, or why you think a certain item isn't good and overrated. Perhaps you'll change my opinion on one or two. And if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos similar to this one or on similar topics, please subscribe. It helps you know that people are interested in these type of videos. I'm going to leave you now and allow you to click on one of the links on screen because by golly god gosh, I know you want to. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you there.